welcome to my first video live. Um, I'm told that with these things you have to wait for everybody to be there so I'm just going to um, get organised here. I'm, I'm going to show you today uh, how to paint a sunflower uh, using these pans. Oh, actually we're going to, <laughs> sorry, first slip. So we're now going to change the camera and so it's actually on my sunflower so that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Bear with us, thank you. Uh, hopefully you can all see a sunflower picture here and my pans here. These are the SAA pan watercolours which uh, I trialled for the SAA and now use quite regularly when I'm going out um, particularly for on plain air they're really really useful. Uh, I made this this morning um, because it's quite a useful crib sheet here with all the colours that I've got there um, with the darker tone and then the lighter tone and the names of them and then I've covered it with plastic so that if any paint goes on it uh, it's not going to damage the crib sheet. So it's very useful just to find the colours. Sometimes when colours are very dark like this, it's not always easy to see where they are. So I've already drawn the sunflower and I'm just going to show you how to paint it. I'm going to be using the SAA number 6 brush, number 8 brush, a detailer and I've got a wash brush as well just in case. So I'm going to start with the number 6 here. I'm going to start by using the Primrose Lemon here and just paint some of these petals here that I've already drawn on the paper. So I'm just putting this nice and strong, lots of colour, hardly any water, so it's a really nice strong colour. <coughs> and now I'm going to ask, <coughs> add the Cad Yellow. Cadmium Yellow is a warmer colour. And that's going in nice and wet and wet into the petals. And then the next colour along is Uralin, which is a really nice warm yellow. It's, it's very similar to cadmium yellow, actually. And look, that's a much warmer yellow. Again, it's wet and wet, a little bit more water to make that happen more easily. I'm being quite loose here. I want this loose look around these petals. A bit more of the lemon. I'm not being too careful with the petals. You can see I'm going right up to the edge with some of them and not with others because I want a highlight on these as if the sun's shining through. So again, lemon, sorry, the primrose lemon to start with on here. So quite quickly, quite care carelessly almost on these petals. And then some of the warmer yellow. So this is the cadmium lemon which is warmer than the primrose yellow, and then the urin. If you are with me, thank you very much for joining me for this first live workshop. I'd be really grateful if you could comment uh, where it says you can, because then I can see um, how that works. Because on the 9th of April, I'm going to be doing a live workshop uh, with a few of my colleagues, um, Ali Foot, Ali Board, uh, Sharon Hurst, Matthew Palmer, Jeremy Ford and Denise Allen and we're all going to be doing them over the, the bank holiday weekend so the 8th and the 9th of April and we'd love to see you there. Now this is my trial to make sure that this actually works. <laughs> so now cadmium orange on the inside just a little bit on here whilst it's still wet goes nicely into that colour and I want these petals to dry now so I'm going to look in the, in the middle of the flower and I'm going to use burnt sienna around here I'm just going to go up to the edges and not quite go into that yellow yet because it's still wet nice and strong so hardly any water in the colour like that and then whilst that's still wet, I'm just going to put a little bit of Payne's Grey in the middle. If you haven't got pans, you can use tubes of paint. 
and I'm just going to dot in a little bit of Viridian in that just to make it a little bit greener. Viridian is a crazy colour, it's not a very natural colour but it's lovely for mixing. And then sunflowers, you can actually see the seeds inside so I'm using a pencil now to do that to get a little bit of texture. I'm dipping it into that black paint and bring it out. Can you see how the colour's coming into the burnt sienna? What happens with this technique is that you scratch into the paper, it makes a bit of a scratch, and then the colour sucks into it. So if I put the burnt sienna over the top now, it'll actually go into some of those creases. Now I'm just going to bring this out now, the yellow is still a little bit damp so it's going to go into it a little bit but not too much and that's what I want to happen. Put a little bit more on. Notice how I'm leaving some white of the paper, I think this is a really nice touch. With watercolour you want the, the translucency showing through. Now I'm pulling it out with the pencil because essentially this is a mixed media piece of pencil and watercolour. But can you see the scratches? I'm bringing the petals out like this, just keep defining them a little bit. Okay, I can pull that up a little bit more if I want to. So if I add a bit more colour there, so it's nice and wet on here, you can see it working really well then. Watch this. It'll go all the way up the petal. The brown, the, the burnt sienna rather, is coming out like that and it's pulling it through. So it looks really quite nice and um, loose. Now I'm just going to use this Artelia spray, water spray, it can be any spray bottle, I'm just going to use that for a minute. And I'm just going to spray the edges here because I just want that to be a bit looser there so it disappears a little bit into the background. And now I'm going to work on this other flower. Now this is important. I want to make sure that these petals are dry completely before doing this next flower. The middle of the flower, of course, is burnt sienna, so I'm just going to use the brush in here. In fact, I'm going to swap to my detailer brush at this point so I can get that detail in. This is a large detailer, it's a silver uh, SAA brush, and I'm leaving the white around the petals. Now, this is a trial, so I'm just going to ask my husband, who's my director here, if, if you can actually see what I'm doing. Is my hand across it? Uh, no. You can't really see. You can't see? No. Right, how's that? I can't see because it's delayed. Pardon? Oh. Go on, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So it's the same as before. I'm leaving a little bit of white on the paper. And of course the middle like this, you remember I used the paint grey first. So it goes in there. Now watch how suddenly those petals zing. They really stand out against the very dark tone in contrast to the white that I've left on the end of the petal. And then same as the other one, I'm going to add this little bit of viridian in there, dotting it in. It's quite subtle. Once it's wet and wet happens, it'll start to show up a little bit more. Now I can use the pencil at this point to work the opposite way. So I'm bringing this down, look, to get a few nice thin lines in there. And again, I'm going to be doing some little texture bits, looking like the seeds coming out like this. I can dip into the dark and almost use it like a pen bring that colour out and after a while as the paint dries you get little white lines instead. Sometimes I do this with a barbecue stick or an SAA ruling pen, anything that scratches the surface but because this is a pencil and wash I'm using the pencil. Okay now I'm going to do the petals around the edge here so again I'm starting with the primrose yellow A little bit careless around here so it's not too perfect because this is a loose painting. Again, can you actually see what I'm painting? Yeah. And I 
I'm now going to use the cadmium lemon, which is a bit warmer, wet and wet. It's actually quite warm in here, so it's drying fairly quickly. If that happens, just add some more water. And finally, the Urin, which is a really lovely warm colour with the SAA pans. It really is like cadmium yellow. Um, it's really very warm colour. And notice how I'm now pulling out a little bit of that burnt sienna. And now I'm going to re-wet that burnt sienna, put a little bit more of it in there so that the wet and wet starts to work. Look how it has on this flower, you can see it all coming out. So I'm just going to use a pencil again to pull out some of these petals, actually go around the edge of some of them. Lovely. Adds nice texture. So now, how am I going to make sure that this uh, work stands out? I'm going to use Prussian Blue, which is a really nice dark blue. These petals ideally need to be dry, and I'm going around the petals that are drawn, like this, to get those nice shapes that we've got. Again, I'm going to swap over to my detailer brush now so that I can get into the really sharp bits in between the petals here. Now again I'm doing what I did here. This is very dark against the petals so it makes it stand out really really well. The darker you go the better really. I'm now going to clean the brush really well and use that cadmium lemon to mix with the Prussian blue and I'm pulling out that colour look. So I'm actually mixing green on the page and I'm going to use this colour whilst I've got it because it's a nice bright green which is perfect for the stalks and the leaves I want those to be a bit lighter than the background the rest of the background so I'm just adding a little bit of this fairly carelessly again A bit of the Prussian blue in there to make it a little bit greener and then back to the really dark hardly any water really nice strong color Prussian blue that's why I love these FAA pans they really are very strong um, and so you can get nice strong color very quickly very creamy lovely colors The SAA shop is still open so you can get them if you want to. Let's buy them from the shop. So the idea here is to put dark colour around the leaves so that the lighter leaves stand out like this. Now I've got a little bit of wet and wet happening there which makes it a little bit soft focus and then here I've got a more strong focus where it's dry. Now as I did with the flower here, what I want to happen on the edges is to just make it very, very loose by using that spray. And I'll just do a few more petals here. This gets a little bit confusing sometimes when you've got one flower over the other. So uh, really concentrate here. It's quite useful to have the drawing from that point of view. Now adding some of the yellow, make the green. Some people prefer to mix their colours in the palette and there's nothing wrong with that um, but I tend to do it straight on the page because I think you get really nice bright strong colours that way and it seems to avoid the muddiness that you sometimes get in watercolour if you're not careful. This is where the spray comes in, the Argus Sartilia 
spray but you can use any spray and just spray it make sure that the nozzle is going where you want it to and just spray a little bit look what happens get some really nice textures so a slightly uh, starry effect and we've got this wet and wet happening and then the detail here so I'm just going to carry on working with more detail maybe a stalk here kind of making it up now oops if that happens just dab it off really quickly and it'll probably be all right more detail to this leaf but I don't want too much detail I want everybody to look at the flower rather than the background now I just want to make this even darker still so I'm going to put a little bit more Prussian blue on there and now I'm going to get the burnt sienna that I've used in the middle of the flower there essentially that's my red today and I'm just going to add a little bit of that there and that mixed with the Prussian blue makes almost black or a very dark brown and again it makes it really stand out there but be a little bit careful you don't want it to go muddy so be a bit careful with that around these petals and then I'm going to use the spray again so I'm just making that shape around the petals and then pulling that color out look how we do that we don't want to have an outline if you do get an outline because it's dried too quickly just go over it again and it should be fine And I want that to just sort of disappear into nothingness in a way. So just making that nice and free. And then again, a little bit of a spray. Be careful with this spray because if you do it too much, it'll suddenly explode and you lose all your definition. A little bit more there. There. That's what we want. Okay. A little bit more on the leaf here. Again, because this is pencil and watercolour, I'm just going to leave that to the imagination a bit. I'm just a little bit of green in here. A little bit of a burnt sienna to make it a bit stronger. Really, the main thing here is the tonal value. So you've got the light against the dark to give a bit of drama. And <laughs> those of you who are my students who are watching will know that I love to splatter a little bit at the end. So I'm just going to put some nice cerulean on here, nice and strong. I'm just give a little bit of splatter like this. If the splatters go too far, and not where you want them, just dab it off a little bit like that. You put a little bit of burnt sienna on there by hitting the brush you get these lovely lovely bits of texture and a bit down here if you're not keen on this effect you don't need to add it and there we have it two sunflowers in watercolor thanks for joining me and hopefully you'll see me on the 9th of april okay